Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Hope you are fine today. It's the last day of the month, last day in January. And I'm sure a lot of us are wrapping up our businesses for the month, right? Getting in those last orders. Some of us are new. This is our first month being there. Some of us are rank advancing. Congratulations to you. Big deal. And um, by and large, I'm pretty sure that every single person who is part of this challenge and who is has been doing the activities, has been putting in the work that we all have been doing, yeah, whether you're crawling, walking, running, or flying, I'm sure as you've put in work, you've been able to see some good things for your efforts. So yes, 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 we, we, again. Oh, thank you so much for joining WAP. You were early, max morning, max morning, max morning. Please do remind your people. I do understand that, yeah. Some people, people's heads are probably still hot right now from trying to just wrap up business. But yeah, you have to keep the ball rolling. Keep the ball rolling. Can you imagine it's already been 28 days? 28 days. And it feels like it's been a very intense 28 days, doesn't it? So yeah, good stuff all around, good stuff all around. So let's get into it because we are covering two days. So it's day 27 and day 28, right? So for day 27, the purpose of this challenge or the purpose of the activity we're going to be doing is to, yeah, forgive me if, I, if I'm, I'm talking a bit funny, um, my throat has been affected by this weather, this really dusty and dry weather. So I'm having to, I have to lick a mint to kind of help with my voice so I can project. Um, but hopefully you can hear me loud and clear. So yes, the purpose of day seven is to really dig deep to find out what drives you in life. What is that thing that motivates you to act, right? It's really important that we discover it. Now, there's something really interesting that Eric brought to light. And um, he's mentioned it, I think, at GoPro, one of all these trainings. But yeah, going deeper into it. And it's the fact that, unfortunately, unfortunately, a lot of us have been acting based on external reasons. Right, there are things happening around us, and that is what is forcing us to act. And what that really creates at the end of the day is a life where we are bouncing between two two things that aren't very favorable. In the real sense of the word, not very, very favorable. And I would try and uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see, for example, I'll try and make a kind of description. So most people are floating in an area that isn't pleasant, but that is actually most people's lives. And um, most people, even most of us, right? So what happens is, I'll be able to show you in a bit. Okay, I don't know who can see this. I hope you can see this. Uh, okay. So yes, there is this line, survival, and then there's this line, crisis. So what happens is this is the area where most people float. Yeah, they live between survival and crisis. What is survival? Survival mode is, oh, struggling, doing what we can do just to make ends meet, just to be able to at least keep our head above water being able to just just avoid unpleasant experiences disasters things that we do not um, really like right so all we end up doing we can sh we struggle struggle sometimes we really can't hit rock bottom we can enter a crisis like very maybe a job loss or like your income source gets depleted or there's some bad health issue and things like that that just puts you in a critical moment in a crisis mode and then 
that whole thing i mean it's something that is happening externally so it's acting on you and then it's causing you it's obviously unpleasant you don't want to be in that situation so you do whatever it is you can you put in like extra effort and really try to get yourself right to get as in to survive basically so yeah you'll put in the effort to be able to go uh, go back to survival so from the crisis you go to survival right then you're just on survival like that's what you're kind of doing day in day out and then if something should happen to tip you back into crisis into crisis then you kind of go have to struggle again to go off back into survival and why does this happen most of us have been trained to live that way like that is just a react we are wired to survive right a single survival of the fittest we are wired to survive we are not trained up people are not really trained to succeed like yeah and this 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 statement that eric said really really struck me people are trained to get by not get ahead that's why very few people you can actually deem them really really successful the one percent of the world right so this whole thing is most people's entire existence survival crisis survival crisis survival crisis right it takes being really intentional to be able to go up a new level and for you to get to the level of success which is the level higher than that you can't bank on your external motivations it can be things in life that are just happening circumstances that are now causing you to act right for instance i mean even think i mean take take away like maybe financial stuff or even health stuff think about when we were in school right i'm pretty sure everybody at least is guilty of this even if it's one time right we don't always study we the way we should right yes i mean of us got a's of us being very brilliant intelligent and all of that and we ace our papers at the end of the day but sometimes i mean we know if we really look back we didn't study the way we should have we didn't really put apply ourselves the way we should have but then all of a sudden there's a test right there's a test and then yeah if you know you have a test in two days the night before like the, the few days before then you start to study like crazy then your brain is like on fire is absorbing so many things at once and you just want your crash reading so that you can perform right so that you can ace that test because you know what will happen if you don't if you fail the test right it's going to affect your grade what if that is what your promotion to the next class is dependent on right nobody wants to have to repeat the class right nobody wants to have to repeat the course nobody wants to get the failure so yeah you do all you can right if you can relate to this tap i can relate if you can actually relate to this if you've been in that kind of situation where yeah you you waited all through the semester all through the term you were not really yourself up to date and really studying diligently and then oh test time exam time bro, you cram you do all you can to just read let me know if you can relate to this type i can relate in the chat type i can relate in the chat so yeah it's it's, it's um, so external motivation if you were internally motivated enough i see um eunice okay thank you thank you thanks for your response so if you were internally motivated right you would have been able to be more disciplined with 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 your your studies so yes so many people life is happening to them things are acting on them but for you to really be able to go to that next level that success level for you to not just be like everybody else you have to have strong internal motivations things within you that really drive you and it's important to have things that drive you and for those to be your motivations because that's how you're going to be able to progress so the next level like he said is success so survival right that's when external motivation survival and crisis but when you have internal motivations you go above and beyond that the regular person and that's what can give you to success right i mean some things can happen in life 
some things out of your control that could put a damper in success. We know the road to success is not like a straight, linear, very smooth road. Yeah, so it could bring you back down a bit to survival, but then, hey, your internal motivations kick in, you still go back to success. So that's how it works. Right? So, yeah, and it's something important because survival is not truly living, right? You want to be able to be successful. Survival is like a homeless shelter and you do not belong there. You're not homeless. You should get to live in one place. Get to experience the finer things of life. So success is just having the good things of life, at least. Oh, money's not a problem. It's not like it's a struggle to take care of your bills. You're doing things that you need to do with ease. You're enjoying the fine things. I mean, if you're somebody that likes fine homes, fine cars, lovely vacations, all those things, yes, it's deemed as success. But you know what's interesting? You know what's really interesting? Success is not the end goal. Success is not where everything ends. Right? That is not the pinnacle. That is not the promised land, if you want to call it. Success is just part of the journey. And it's not everybody that gets to dis discover this because some people actually just end at oh, they're successful, I mean, they have the good life, yeah, they're, they're happy and all. And those things are good to enjoy. We all want to enjoy that, I'm sure. We have things that we really love to enjoy. But there's a higher level still. There is a higher level. And, I mean, when I saw this, I was really, really glad for Max and what our whole, like, mission and vision is. After success, who can, who can even guess? Let me... Let me throw it out there. Who can guess what is after success? And please, if you know the answer, hey, accelerators, webmaster, and co, this question is not for you, but for everybody else watching this, can you guess, can you just type in, guess what that next level is? There's crisis, there's survival, there's success. What is that next level? Let me just see some guesses before I mention it. And uh, yeah, before I even go, go to that, know that your your ex internal motivations right it can be things that you want right out of life and it could be things that you do not want like you want to avoid so you're being driven by all the things that you want into you, in, in your life and things you do not want so when you think about internal motivations think of it that way so uh do i have any comments do i have any guesses any guesses any guesses okay well this next level is significance. Significance, that's the next level. And I mean, what do we say in Max? Max is to help give you life of health, health, success, and significance. Isn't it really interesting that that is what uh, Max is all about? Helping us achieve good health, success, and significance. So when I saw that, it was really 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 interesting right and that is where we're aiming to it's not just to be successful it's not just to have nice things yes you have a sky you have a nice apartment you can travel hey you your family are living the good life but there's the next level that's the significance right where it's really about other people other people are being better and experiencing better and are touched are impacted positively because of your own contributions to humanity, right? To your immediate community, people get to really live better thanks to you. And we shouldn't see significance as a sacrifice. Oh, I'm giving back maybe my time, I'm volunteering here, I'm giving some resources, a lot of that all oh, it's a big sacrifice. It's actually a privilege. That's the mindset we have to have. And there's something really so rewarding regardless of what your faith may be regardless of the background may be and how you think everybody feels warm inside and feels really excited and accomplished and happy and grateful when they get to impact somebody else so significance is actually the true meaning of life right it's the true meaning and what to be able to do and what Eric wants to help us do in this drive is really to get through those levels Right? We can't be swimming in survival and crisis anymore. We should not be struggling. We should not every day we have a complaint about something where we're just struggling. 
you have to say enough is enough, right? And when you have internal motivation, strong internal motivations, yeah, you you break that ceiling. You break whatever ceiling it is you have. You go to the obstacles you have, jump the hurdles, get out of that valley and climb the mountain to get to success and then significance, right? And then significance, right? So we're going to be going from earner to leader to legend. What we have to do, right? To even get through these levels to get to significance, it means you're going, you're not just an earner now with Max International, you're going to become a leader in true sense of the word and then become a legend, right? I mean, be a legend like Eric Worre, like all these prominent people, Richard Branson, Sir Richard Branson, people in the world who are doing a whole lot of good, right? They've been able to get the means and they're making sure they're impacting the world positively. So really amazing. So our challenge for this day 27 is this. Now take out time, take out time to yourself. Like don't be distracted, just take out time to yourself, think deeply and figure out what your internal motivations are. Figure out what the reasons you have are, right? Things that you want in, in your life, things that you want to happen for you and things you want to avoid. Think about it deeply and list them all out, right? You can list them all out, you can, oh, when it's well articulated, you can paste it different places and let that be a constant reminder and driver for you. Because that is what is going to drive you and keep you away from mediocrity. I hope I'm making sense. If I'm making sense, please type in sense. Whether you're watching this live or the replay, if I'm making sense, please type in sense. Right? Type in sense. Type in sense. If you're going to do this challenge, type in sense. This is very, very important, knowing what drives you. Okay? And now for day 28. 28. Day 28 is basically letting us know that there is a power, a very strong power in vulnerability. People being able to see your struggle, the kind of struggles you've had, and we've all had struggles in one shape or form. Nobody has had a perfect life, right? Even if we don't really talk about it, we don't post it, every single person has had down moments, and we'll still have down moments in the future. So, really embracing the power in vulnerability is what we have to learn to do. Okay, thank you so much, Eunice. Thank you, Dr. Ify. I see you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. So, when you're vulnerable or being vulnerable, it helps. It's really crucial for people to be able to connect with you. Right? It, yeah. So, people can relate to you more when, oh, and even in a very like powerful, memorable way, when you are sharing your struggles, it's not just the happy moments, not just, oh, when you, when you can fly and you're smiling and you're happy, but even the downtime, because we all have that. It's not our most glorious moment and we don't like to dwell on that. We don't like to showcase that, make us feel like a little awkward, uncomfortable, weak, or make us feel a little ashamed. There are different things. I mean, low moments are not fun, right? But it's important to share those moments. Sharing them, even people who are not close to you, like they connect with you more, they'll be able to relate to you. And vulnerability can unlock. Vulnerability can unlock your next level. Really, really important. So the next challenge we're going to do is probably going to be tough for some of you, but please take it in good stride. It's going to help you, really help you. So it's about vulnerability, right? Are going to get vulnerable if you've never shared a vulnerable post before this is going to be yours so this is what we're going to do so go to your photos your past photos however long back you want to go first step go back to your photos and then look for one that shows you in a vulnerable time a time where you had a struggle it captures a, a low moment in your life because you're going to post that photo on Facebook and Instagram. On Facebook and Instagram, but it's not just uh, the photo. 
Now, don't worry, you don't need to like write this all down in case I'm talking fast and you can't get it all down because, yeah, the template will be shared, the outline for each day summary. But yes, find your photo. That really, the more vulnerable the photo, the better, the more powerful it will be. Now, attached to this picture, you're going to type out the text, right? Sharing, really describing your experience with this struggle that you dealt with. This struggle, you're narrating what life was really like in that time. And it's important for you to have a catchy first line, what we call the hook. Something that, oh, if somebody's just scrolling their feet and their eyes just catch that first line. It's intriguing enough to, oh, want, want to do more. So the more catchy, the better. Obviously being truthful, but let it be something that, oh, even if it's like a very lengthy post, I will still read to the end because the, the, the hook was that interesting. Why right, do that and be as detailed and open as possible. Remember, it's vulnerability and that's where the power lies. So that's the second thing. Now, yes, you describe your experience, but then you're also going to state what your decision was. So you are in a very low, low moment. You are in a very low moment. Okay, when all this was happening in your life, what was the decision you made? That's the third thing. And then the fourth thing is sharing the success that has happened since, since then, since you made that decision. Whatever it was. Oh, I was... Sorry about that. Okay, so I was... There was a point in my life that maybe, oh, things were not going really well. I was just unfulfilled with maybe my work situation or my relationship or something. And I was feeling really so low and maybe even like depressed about it, right? And then I'm giving it like different scenarios tied together. And then, oh, I used to, I took to finding comfort in food. So I used to eat a lot and then I became overweight. So I became obese and stuff. And yeah, I mean, it led to some health issues. I really did not like myself. How I was looking, how I was feeling. Just yeah, describe that. And then I decided that, you know what? Like this isn't how I want to live my life. I have to make a change. I really have to make a change. And therefore I decided to go on a weight loss journey. I decided to get fit, get back in shape, right? And really feel good about myself, about my body. Huh. So something like that. So you shared because this it must not be financial success. It's not a oh I was broke and now I'm earning well and financially secure. It must not be financial success. Anything as long as it's a low point in your life. Right? Just share. Um, and then we're still this is still all part of the text, right? So you have your sharing experience, the decision you made, the success, and then to end the post, you can say something along the lines of Comment congratulations if you can relate to this. Drop a comment congratulations if you can relate to this or if this makes sense to you, right? Or if this is thing that or oh, maybe you've been through or well, maybe you don't need to narrow it down that much, but oh, if you're happy for the person you see now, just just say something that would engage people that would make them want to comment. But yes, you're specifying the word congrats or congratulations. And the reason you're doing this is because the algorithm of Facebook and Instagram favors posts that have congratulations in them or posts where comments say congratulations. I mean, congratulations, usually happy moments, people have their birthdays, anniversaries, or people deliver children, all those kind of things. So a lot of congratulations. So the algorithm favors that such that that is going to pop up more on people's feeds. So the more people are going to get to see your posts. Good hack, right? So make sure that you, you insert that at the end of your post. And then, yes, people are going to be commenting, congrats, 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 congrats. What do you do, right? You're not supposed to end it there. You're supposed to now keep the conversation going. So what you're going to do is go privately, right? All the people who commented, go privately and reach out to them and just say, like, hey, I'm reaching out to all the commenters and asking, are you happy? Are you happy? Now that may feel like a strange question. Maybe they will be a bit surprised or something, especially depending on the relationship with the person. Don't be scared. Just put it out there. Hey, your head will not fall off. I promise. 
So just do it. Turn your brain off and do it. And the reason why this will actually yield some good results is that people are going to, like literally everybody is going through something, right? Everybody has gone through or is going through something. And the fact that you are being open and so vulnerable and just putting a low moment out there gives them the courage to be able to want to discuss further with you as in share share their own struggle open up to you share what is going on in their life right what their situation is like and yeah you connected with them because you have only one they are connecting back it's just human nature right so from there you can kind of take up the discussion right as you're sharing see how you can like along the lines of support encouragement and then hey it could be that max or everything that we're doing here will be tailor-made for these people. Just keep the conversation going, be natural, be okay. But yes, yeah, see if there's an opening rate to be able to bring up Max. So do this and then share, as you're sharing this post to your Instagram and Facebook, share it in the group. Please share it in the group. Not many people have been engaging in sharing their assignments. Maybe they've been doing it, but when we say repost, not many people have done that, I don't know. Guys, this is a very safe space. This is a very safe space and we are all learning. Nobody is a genius in this business or social media or anything, but yeah, there's a lot we can learn and you doing this exercise is even going to help you. Do the exercise and share it with us. This is a safe space, we are your people. So just make sure to do the assignment. So yes, you go through these, right? Make sure you have your post done in the next 24 hours. So before the next challenge, please. Within the next 24 hours, do it and please share your posts. All right, so this template will be up so that you can, you'll see everything step by step. And yeah, let's get onto that challenge. So the one from day 27, right? Finding out your internal reasons, listing them out, what motivates you, what drives you, and then this vulnerability post challenge. All right, so I hope we are, okay, everything clear, everything clear, everything clear. All right, so yes, January is done. Hope all our end of month activities gone on well. Congrats to all of you for making it this far. And yeah, we have much, much more to do and we'll be able to get that done. Um, yeah, let's just keep to meet ourselves and keep keep pushing, keep pushing. More, there's more success and significance in store for us. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Each drop a seven if you're going to embrace this challenge head on. Drop a seven in the comments. If it makes sense, if this has connected with you in some way, if you are going to do this challenge or these challenges, please type in a seven in the comments whenever it is that you're watching this. All right. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon, evening, or night.